Stephen is in Pasadena, California. Hi, Stephen. How are you? Hey, Dave. I'm doing good. Good. So I have a question, if you can explain, because my brother, I've been talking to him about your program, and he says, yeah, that's all fine and stuff, but I don't see the positive in being having a zero credit, because then how am I going to buy a house? How am I going to be able to do all these things mm-hmm. without having a credit score? And I completely am 100% all in on your program and everything, mm-hmm. but I want to talk him into it because I know they're having some struggles with things, but at the same time, I don't know how to explain that. As well, good as let's you would start with to. the idea that he is arguing with financial advice and he's broke. That's pretty stupid. Mm-hmm. So yeah. let's just start there. I mean, this guy, he really, you know, he, he hire if you hire a personal trainer and they tell you what to do, you ought to do it. So um, well, let's start with the idea that credit score hadn't been a blessing to this guy. He's broke. He's having financial problems. So his plan really sucks. We need to start with that idea. Now, then we can back up and say, okay, what is the technical aspects of this? Uh, buy a house and all these other things you said. Uh, he said, well, all these other things are your problem. You pay cash for everything but a house. Mm-hmm. And I'd rather you pay cash for a house, but uh, zero chance ever that you need to have any credit card debt, any student loan debt, or any car debt, or any debt other than a house if you want to be a millionaire. All these millionaires we've studied, all these not broke people like your brother, but all these people who have money that we have studied for 30 years have avoided debt as their primary way to become wealthy because that allowed them then, without any payments, to invest. So you save up and pay cash for your trips, your Christmas, your college. You save up and pay cash for your cars, your boats, your toys. You save up and pay cash. Like Grandma said, if you ain't got the money, don't buy it. And the money means you need to have all the money to buy the item. And it doesn't chase you home. Now, how to deal with the house without a credit score. Then you can actually get a mortgage. You would have to do what's called manual underwriting. And not a lot of mortgage companies know how to do that. Churchill Mortgage is one that does know how to do it, and there are a few others. But a lot of them are just so stupid. The only thing they know how to, the only loans they know how to make are FICO loans, and they look at the FICO number and they make the loan. It's stated income loans, and they're the type of loans that are disastrous. But that's the way the industry is set up. So, but you can get a manually underwritten loan and that means that they can't just look at the number because there's not a number they actually have to look at the person and verify that you have a job and verify that you have a down payment and verify that you can make the payments based on your income ratio to your payments and they actually do underwriting and like we used to do when we first started in the when I first started in the real estate business 35 years ago we actually the mortgage companies did real underwriting back then they didn't just look at one number and make the loan and that number being the fico score so The answer is, yes, you can get a house. No, you can't get a lot of other stuff, but you shouldn't anyway unless you pay for it. And if you're going to stay in debt, you are not following the shortest track to becoming a millionaire. So that's the answer to his equation. The other other thing you got to remember is this. I find myself in the early days of this show, and like you are, Stephen, arguing with people. It's not worth it. Just go live your life. You can't talk stupid out of some people, even if they're in your family. They're just going to be stupid. So you go live your life. You're not going to argue him into anything. He's broke and has strong opinions about money. How interestingly stupid is that? So he's arrogant. And it's gonna, he's, he's going to have problems until he decides he's going to listen to someone who knows more than he knows. Which includes you, by the way. You know more than he knows. So... Sorry, but that's just, I've, I've had these conversations with people like this for years, and I just quit having them. It's a waste of good energy. So I'm not, I can't talk you into being smart. You got to decide you're going to get smart, and, and then I can help you get there. But I can't just club you over the head. And he's not, he just wanted to argue. He's, he did not really want to learn. And so I don't think you can argue him into it. You're probably going to be really frustrated trying. So I probably wouldn't try and we probably wouldn't have any more arguments with him but you do whatever you want that gives you the tools to do it either way this is the dave ramsey show